President Zelensky, please. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for your kind words. Thanks, everybody, for your practical support and concrete deeds for Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, dear defenders of world's resilience, it is vitally important that the defense of Ukraine from Russian aggression can rely on the stability of our society, our critically important systems, including financial system. We have achieved this in cooperation with you. Thank you. And now I would like to spotlight three priorities. First, predictability. Defending life, it is important to see the perspective, not only how you will hold on tomorrow, but also how you will withstand in the war. For this, we need sufficient financial support. Putin has weaponized money, and we need an efficient financial shield. Unfortunately, this year our minimum budget needs are not yet closed, and we count on your support of all of our partner countries, all international institutions which are involved, and particularly on the support of, of the United States, on the relevant decision of the Congress, a strong decision that will reflect American leadership. Second, justice. Frozen Russian assets must work against Russian terror. For this, we need to finally find the format of the decision and channel Russian assets for the protection of life in Ukraine. Kremlin, the sole culprit of this war, must pay really painful price for it. And the third priority is planning. Already now we have to plan 2025th. Russia has destroyed a significant part of our energy grids, our economy. Reconstruction is needed. We need a new economic capacity. We have already dem demonstrated that we are able to make even complex reforms and transformations in the times of war. And for it, we need your further support, both direct one for reconstruction and restoration of our energy system, as well as instruments for business, such as export financing for supplies of your equipment and technologies and insurance of your business investments by your export credit agencies. Our government, uh, our representatives will present every detail regarding these three priorities. And I hope that all together we will ensure that life will prevail over terror. Thank you for your support. Especially I want to thank now Madam Kristalina Georgieva for your work with Ukraine and congratulations on your re-election as the Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund. Thank you to Ajay Banga, dear President, and the entire team of the World Bank. My gratitude to all, to all of the partners. Slava Ukraini.